All right, I think we're going to get right into it here. Just outside of the bull there. Getting a good look at, uh, I believe those are the new darts for uh, Danny. Lowby, that is. Alrighty. Like I'm getting a little special guest here in the commentary booth for this one. It should be a good one. Danny will start us off here. I'll get our uh, scoreboard up and going here. Should be an entertaining final here as I got uh, Mr. David Garfunkel in with me. How's it going, David? Uh, it's going good, Will. How's things going over here? Oh, man. Uh, I'm just thrilled to have hey, this match on here. This is a phenomenal final. Oh, yeah. I mean, all these players. We got such a strong room out there and... Right here, we got six of the strongest, so. Yeah, that's that's definitely a fact. I mean, you got two PDC pros in this, and, you know, another guy that graced the world championship stage as well as the world's stage yep. in Leonard Gates. And Gates still might be on that world championship stage. <laughs> he, has, uh, he could have a double dip, next, honestly. Next Saturday, he has the opportunity. And that's the thing. He's got the PDC world stage and today. If he can yep. pull off that, that would be a really unique thing that happens yeah Let's see here Paula Murphy the smooth operator she's a quality shot herself kind of been at the top ranks what, quite some time how long have you think oh, she's yeah. been playing uh, as long as I've been <laughs> yeah, around say, the darts and she's pretty much been the top female for for that amount of time she's she's one of those females that keeps up with the guys yeah I'm certainly scared to switch with this guy at the at the uh, <laughs> at the helm because we all know how quick Danny Danny Lowby plays. Can be tough on the uh, camera crew. Per oh se. yeah. PDC struggles keeping up with him. <laughs> so. Truth. And it's almost like when he plays on the worlds on those big stages, I think he gets quicker. Yeah. I, it definitely seems to me like he plays just a little bit quicker, and he enjoys that fast pace. Just a ton there for Gates. Looked like it could have been more. I'm impressed with this lady right here. April Leonard. April Leonard. Honestly, I didn't know how how good of a dart player she was, but just seeing her her, her, her form and the uh, checkout she's made today yep. and, and the and the big 100s to add to Jeff Smith and Danny, certainly a uh, quality shot as well. Yeah, and, and I'm sure she's shooting really relaxed when you're when you're in the company of Danny and Jeff, you, you kind of, mm -hmm. it takes a little bit of pressure off of you <laughs> when you have two professional dart players as your partners. It certainly will. I mean, some people, you know, get, get a little bit nervous because they think they got to, you know, try to hang with them or outdo them. You can't That's do a that. 139 to leave tops by Danny. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what a big shot there. Make it really tough on Lauby. Yep. Here we go, a perfect person to come up and, and nail this too, Jeff Smith. Inside, we'll go around the board here. Oh no, tough look. Didn't miss any of those by much, but. It's just enough, and we'll see if Gates can take out this 103. You think he goes downstairs or he goes up? Uh, I definitely think he starts downstairs. This is the thing. I think Gates is really thinking about it. He's he's one of those guys that's sitting here. He's like, how do I want to go about this? He's so dominant on the 20s, but yeah, I think the 19s is the right move. because You don't want to risk hitting that fat one. Exactly. Anywhere around it is perfect real estate. Yeah. Nope. Right at the tops. And look at that big. And buries it. <laughs> buries it right in the center. So three for tops. Isn't that funny? I, I, I was wondering, he's, he's going to prove us wrong here. <laughs> Goes for the 11. Just, just snuck it into that 11, I think. Oh, man. Yeah, that was certainly uh, looked like it was going to be a double there for a second. I was like, oh, no. Oh. The Madhouse. Tough look. Tough look. Yeah, that five's always, always that tricky one. You always want to try to never leave it, but... 
Paula's been money most of the day on her doubles too, and continues. And see, I haven't seen much of uh, much of her double game just because she was on the stream I think once previously. Um, I think that was mixed, maybe mixed doubles last night. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, she played with uh, Soldier. So. Well, you can't. You can't. That's a quality shot there. Yeah. And he blocks us out there <laughs> from seeing that bullet right <laughs> as I switched. Gosh darn it. Take that closer look as Bobby's got a clear bed to work with. Oh, Oof. wow. Shaking it off on that one. I was about to say that you don't see that often from Lauby. No, that had to have slipped right out of his hands. I think it's kind of interesting here. Bagish has been taking all the bowls, so yep. clearly they had a kind of a, a you know, what, how do we want to go about this? Because that's a, that's a big deal. When you have two PDC players, yeah. it can be a little bit, uh, nah, I got it. <laughs> I got yep. it. But that's the one thing I, from my conversations I've had with Jeff, the dude has no ego. He is just, he's just here to throw them and Exactly. You know, I was talking a little hockey with him yesterday. You know, kind of attend the Bruins Oilers game. He's a big yep. Oilers fan. Oh yeah. And just to chat there with him, it was kind of you know just you know he doesn't know me from Adam, but just to sit there and have a chat with him was pretty unique and yep. a good opportunity. That's we had a, a brief conversation, me and him. Also, me being a Rangers fan, and then recently playing and that debacle of a game when the Rangers gave up five goals in the last period. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh man. Jeff, traveling a little bit to get here. I mean, yeah, certainly a trek. Said um, it was about a seven-hour drive for him. Wow. Jim, Jim Long had about a similar drive as well to get here. It's nice to see guys, you know, those those guys come down, and you know, for Jeff, he won't be able to play in this WDF event, no. which is kind of which kind of sucky. But yep. at the same time, it's just coming to a tournament with with. I mean, he hasn't been this on this side of the border, I believe, in a couple of years is what yeah. he said. 20, 2019. 2019 yep. Seacoast, I think, is the last time he was down here. And he's a frequent flyer so. in this event. Him and Danny Baggish both. Yep. Look at this. Big ton 80 opportunity. Ooh. Just a 140. Pulls it down to a reasonable number. 205. Not a checkout opportunity, of course, but Jeff's going to try to have the first look or guarantee his teammate the first look. Yes, Pat, that is Gar Finkel you hear there. It's a, a 97. He was 157. Well, Pat Gallagher giving you a little little shout out in the uh, comments section. <laughs> the game. I uh, love it. <clears throat> Going for the 45. Unhappy with that first start. She looks over the scoreboard just to oh. double check. Not the best of visits, but yeah, one of the one of those visits, you know. So Paula Murphy Any. with a seventy, a doable seventy here. The nineteen for All double right. sixteen. Ooh. It's a very interesting approach at 70, not one that I'm used to seeing. Yeah, exactly. Got a little confused at that 19 I, first start. I did as well. I was expecting, you know, at least a 54 shot or a trip uh, <laughs> trip 10 maybe. But, uh, yeah, I was surprised on that one. Baggage leaves tops for Jeff. Here we go, Lobby. If there's a shot, which yeah. there is not. Not going to be the case. That's just, uh, wow. I mean, Shooting a 78.39 and then a 72.31 in mixed trips is wow. unbelievable, it, isn't it? Yeah, isn't it? I knew that wasn't going to last very long. I mean, that was probably less than a 10 minute match. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, there's your yeah, mixed you. triples champions in Gates, Lauby, and uh, Murphy. Yeah, two two juggernauts of teams, and someone's got to. They win. traded blows. Yep. Yeah, someone's got to win. But, and uh, now, now Jeff and Danny got a little bit of a break. They get to wait until. Double starts at 5 o'clock tonight because both of them being the PDC tour card holders. Exactly. Unfortunately, they're not going to be yep. able to play. So. Yep. Baggage has been used to it this year. Most most tournaments have been WDF for the singles, 501, so he hasn't been able to play in 
pretty much any of the major tournament singles 501s. Yep. Well, it looks like uh, I think Danny mentioned he might come in here for some uh, for a chat when we're doing our WDF event. So that'll be uh, there you go. Kind of fun to have. Maybe we can talk Jeff into doing the same, possibly. But uh, overall, I mean, I'm excited. We're gonna have a good first match coming our way with. Uh, it's going to be Jim Long and Levi Rimick. That would be a fantastic one to start us off. Should be a heck of a match. Levi shot great in uh, mixed, so. Yeah, he, he really did. I mean, yeah. Levi is, he, he kind of, I from my understanding, he somewhat gets out of the Northeast, but not a lot. Yeah, not and, not often. And that's the thing. He's a quality shot here. Yep. Yeah, so one of the one of the uh, best in the I area. Feel like, I feel like every every area has one or two of those guys that, you show up to an event and all of a sudden they drop a 70, 80 average on you and you're like, who are you? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and, you know, maybe, I don't know if April gets around as much as she should. Yeah. And I think she's kind of sitting in that same boat that's like, you got yeah. a phenomenal, phenomenal form and, and a phenomenal yep. stroke here. Get get out there, start playing. Exactly, exactly. It's exactly what you got to do. You know, just got to get out there and start playing and you never know what can happen from there. Uh, she'll have her opportunity to... Uh, to possibly win this women's event later, yeah. you know, and that could be a, a game changer for any of these w men or women. Uh, you know, you could see a surprise come through. You could see a, uh, yeah. a a normal, you know, person that we normally see at the top come through. Yep. We'll see. And but it's it's an absolute opportunity. Exactly. Well, we'll be right back with more coverage. Going to see if uh, we got that Jim Long Levi Rimmick match coming up. It's been nice to have a uh, even Garfinkel in the. Uh, booth with me for a little bit i'm sure it's a be pleasure back. Will. i'm sure absolutely be back. i'll be around yeah. <laughs> very good at his craft and uh big shout out to dirty jersey darts as well appreciate you it know, thank I you definitely wanted to mention that if you're looking for a jersey uh, that's something that we want to do you know yeah kind of affiliated with the magic wear and a to z of course, darts but, but it's nice to have you know yep you got options so and it's a, a there's so many dart players out there that it, there's no reason to not work together. I've I've worked with Jen Mounds for years, and yeah. you know, it's it's nice to be able to work with people within the company and within the within the darts family. Like exactly, you can you can you can you both can benefit. Absolutely, we all can benefit from it. You know, absolutely, it's, it doesn't have to be all. It's it's about the bigger picture, and it's about the game of darts and growing the game of darts in the U.S. And I wish more people learned or or, or thought the same thing. You yep. Know? But that's part of it. But appreciate you chill, uh, coming in with me and, and chatting for a minute. We'll uh, absolutely we'll again here shortly. Absolutely, it was a pleasure. Will yeah, appreciate it, guys. Stay tuned. We'll have uh, more action coming your way here shortly. Thanks.